Welcome to Piemonte, home of world famous wines, truffles the size of your fist, stunning landscapes, and now us. During the pandemic, we decided to sell our apartment in Stockholm and move to Italy in search of our dream house. Just a short drive from the Ligurian coast and the buzzing city life of Milan, Langer in Piemonte was the perfect place for us to start our Italian adventure. In December 2021, we got the keys to our abandoned farmhouse and now in early 2022 have begun renovating. Follow our journey and progress as we restore this 100-year-old rustico into our dream home. Again? Yeah. Hi, and welcome to our Italian dream house. We are in our cantina which we think that the previous owners have only used as a storage room because this is very, very grotty. Uh, and we've been having some different ideas of what to do with this room. And the original idea was to turn it into like a very cozy wine room, snug with a big open fire and quite dark and somber colors. Kind of something like this. Uh, the picture is from Architectural Design. Um, but now I'm having second thoughts and a friend of mine was asking if our kind of view with or, or vision with all this terrazzo is to create something of a space that has the same feeling as Bar Luce in Milan, uh, which is the, um, the bar in Fondazione Prada that Wes Anderson has designed. And I had never thought of that, but now that really inspired me into transforming this room into something a bit more funky and fun. Um, I think we want to turn this room into like a big surprise for everyone coming to the um, to the house. So now I'm thinking to put in some like bright colors, source some cool um, retro furniture from the 50s, 60s, uh, and maybe even put in the jukebox. <laughs> which Edward is not too keen about. Um, but we're also struggling a little bit with the fact that this is going to have to be a bit of a utility room. So all our plumbing kind of have to meet up in this room and go out to the street. Uh, we need to keep our boilers and electric meters in here. So we need to come up with a way where we can really cover up these ugly things and, you know, make it, make it cozy and fun. Some really good news. We signed a contract with our plumber yesterday. So I've had to remove all of the old plumbing pipes because he's gonna come and install our first guest bathroom and heating in the guest room because we plan to move in there at the end of the month. <laughs> so he's been really sort of accommodating He's and offered it. yeah and us. offered to come and install that system first for us but it meant that i've had to remove these so he can come asap basically so yeah that's what i've been doing removing all the pipes and it actually makes the room feel much bigger not having all these pipes around so it's really cool i hear a dripping noise which is making me a bit nervous <laughs> no there was some residual water left in the pipes so um we're completely isolated from the water inlet from the street, so there's no fresh water coming into the house right now. It's just some old water that was in the boiler, it's dripping down. Nothing to worry about. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. Cool. Keep on working. So, 
obviously, I'm too nyfiken i en strut. I'm too curious in a code. <laughs> I'm too curious uh, finding out what is behind this plaster. Um, so I'm gonna open it up and see if it's the same as over there. This looks very much the same to me. Let's open it up a bit more to find out. So the difference here though, it is actually different. Oh, this seems like it bricked straight onto the other brick, so there's no plaster behind. Uh, that's very, like, I don't know, inhalit. Um, I think I need some professional others <laughs> A gap behind it. Yeah. Do we just take it down and hope for the best? Um, yeah, I mean, keep going. Make at least make a bigger inspection, like you did over here. Make a bigger inspection, he says. Inspection hole. So this was my weird idea of an inspection hole. I did a very quick inspection and decided that the whole wall could come down. As per usual, I had to bring Edward in for the high parts. As you could see a few episodes back, we unfortunately had to remove our beautiful terracotta floors that was in the room, which is gonna become our walk-in closet and the bathroom. Simple as that, it's very hard to take care of the terracotta floor, so having that in a bathroom is definitely not ideal. And also, throughout the years, um, like the floor started sloping a lot, so we had to remove them anyways. And since they've been painted with about four <laughs> coats of paint, uh, they were actually impossible to take up piece by piece. Uh, however, we did manage to save quite a lot of them. Um, so I thought we would have a closer look now. So these are all the tiles that we actually managed to kind of salvage <laughs> from up there. And it's a lot more than we thought. Uh, however, like the quality of them are very varying so I'm not really sure how we'll be able to get rid of the old cement and all this paint without ruining them completely um, but we're looking at some different options with either we're gonna put them in the cantina um, or somewhere else <laughs> where we're not gonna ruin them um, also a lot of our friends are coming to visit have small children now so I just think that having terracotta floors which stain super easily will not be the best solution for our house. So we were actually so fed up with working on the house today that we just decided that we leave the house and we go for an aperitivo in Navy instead. Tag along. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas about what we could do with our cantina, please do leave a comment down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on that. And of course, please do like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we will see you in the next video.